Hello guys, it's me King Mumsy. I'm back with a brand new Jump Force discussion video regarding the Season 2 DLC for the game. Now I'm not going to do what I did in my last Jump Force video where I predicted and chose what characters I wanted as DLC for Season 2 with each series that didn't have their characters announced yet. I stand by what I said with Bleach and Yu Hack Show already. JoJo's as well, but there is a JoJo discussion video I want to do regarding certain characters that people think may have a shot at coming to season 2 which heavily piqued my interest a lot so I will be releasing a video regarding that very soon but as for Hunter Hunter when I made that last Jump Force discussion video um, discussing what Hunter Hunter characters could come to the game which were Meruem and Krolo I forgot about a certain someone who are very underrated and barely talked about in my opinion I felt also could have somewhat of a chance of making it in to the game since we were able to get Bisky after all who not only debuted in that same arc as well but also played an important role as well that's someone being Genfru aka the bomber he's not someone you would usually consider a popular DLC choice among Hunter Hunter fans whether it's Western fans or Japanese fans Bisky was understandable because she is a very liked and popular among Japanese Hunter Hunter fans but the same could not be said for the western audience and arguably plays more of an important role in the overall series than Genfru. While many of us love her, a lot of us you know, wanted characters like Netro, Merrim and Krolo for example over Bisky. But, uh, but what if the same situation happens again in Season 2? Is it likely that Spike and Bandai will send us a curveball like in Season 1 and give us Genfru over Meruem and Krolo? It's hard to say. It's because it's not like they can't make an amazing moveset for someone like Genfru. Like, they can make him a really good moveset when you think about it. It's like, I do feel like his little flower and his other explosive abilities could translate well into a game like Jump Force if given the proper time and care like they did with Bisky and the other Hunter Hunter characters not to mention his fight with Gon is arguably one of the biggest and most iconic moments in the series whether we're talking about the OVA, the 2011 anime or even the manga and it's also probably my personal favourite fight in the entire series to be honest now does this mean he has an equal chance of getting into the game as say Merrim or Krolo? of course not, they still have the better chance due to popularity and high demand from fans across the globe. People are also saying Netro and Pito might have a chance at making it in but Pito's clothes are already in the game so she's definitely not going to make it in and they can't make a moveset for Netro in my opinion let alone a good one if we're being honest but what do you guys think? Do you think Genfru has what it takes to be chosen over Merrim and Krolo to be a DLC character for season 2 let me know your answer down in the comments down below also be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and definitely hit that subscribe button for more jump force and hunt hunt content this is your boy King Mumsy signing out take care and peace